Um, I am going to share a vlog with you guys, but I'm going to kind of vlog the whole week for you or share what all happened last week. I am sorry that there were not really any vlogs. I really, I'm starting to feel it again and I'm going to get back in the groove. We have just had, <laughs> I'm just, you know, we've been tired. It's been just, you can't go outside and I, that's really the only reason. So just nothing's been going on. It's been very boring and um, we're just doing nothing because <laughs> you can't even go out. But I did get a couple things that happened throughout the week. So I want to share that with you guys. And then I will try to do better, I promise, and be on more. <laughs> Here's a look at some of what happened last week. are digging out a spot for the dog <laughs> so that it can go to the bathroom. It, it loves to play in the stove, but not go to the bathroom. Okay, so here it is, you guys. Look at this. Look at how deep. I don't know if you guys can see. This is like the most snow we've had in I don't even know years. how long. Years and years. One in, one, in one fall. Yes. <laughs> so... Our chickens and our dogs, they're princesses. So the boys are shoveling everything out for them. But I wanted you guys to see, so beautiful. Because of the snow, we have the outside cats in the barn because temperatures are getting so cold. So I have- <laughs> Those kittens would have been deep. <laughs> I would have been buried, so I have a Ronnie. There was a snake. Oh, okay. Where was there a snake? It was by the barn and it went like in a crack in the barn. Okay. That'll happen. The cats are fine. And one of the cats got out. Okay. The snake was above the surface, although I am surprised it wasn't hibernating. I am too. Okay, so I wanted you guys to see. It is so beautiful out here. This barns. Oh, this is just like a winter wonderland. It is just so beautiful. All around. And it's quiet. The street is quiet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Except for a rooster. <laughs> the street's all quiet because there's just very little traffic because of everything being delayed or closed. It's just so beautiful. We will definitely be out here today. So it is so beautiful out. We were making a snowman, but the boys instead want us to turn it into a slide. So we're going to turn this into some kind of a great big slide. They're working on it back there. The dog is loving the snow. It's in the 30s, so it's really nice right now. Theo's loving it. So we will share this slide with you as soon as we get it done. Okay, so Charles joined the troops. I gotta show you this is so cool. They made like this ramp. Luke, God love him, he is done for the day. We've been out for hours. He went in, just got a warm bath. He was froze like a popsicle. <laughs> But we'll bring him out tomorrow. So here you can see stairs going up. I think you guys can see that. <laughs> There's Theo. We bundled him back up and brought him back out. And then here is the snow ramp. So our snowman turned into the snow ramp. And now the two boys can sled a little bit. And they are loving it. Well, Theo's loving it. Luke will love it, I'm sure. Oh, Cora Jean, we'll let you out in a minute. All right, are you ready? Hold on to this. Here. Hold on tight. You go! Woohoo! Wipe out! <laughs> you did. So, what? My snowman turned into a snow ramp. She was working so hard on a snowman. But this is so much more fun. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. <laughs> so you didn't even see me yesterday. It's the next day. It is um, Wednesday. 
and we have the people coming this morning so I want to show you real quick to work on our supporting our wall in the basement so hopefully we can work on getting this basement finished next winter um, but this is the wall what it looks like now so you guys will see it's kind of bowing in so they're just gonna put support beams and just really get it secure and that's what they'll be doing today and tomorrow actually so it's gonna be quite noisy in the house so the poor men went to the wrong house <laughs> and tried to turn around and got stuck in all the snow that is so sad that is just such an awful start to a day <laughs> and they've been out there for like 20 minutes trying to get themselves dug out. I guess they're gonna call maybe a tow truck. <sighs> of course, we we are fine. We're like, <laughs> you shouldn't get stuck in our driveway. But for some reason, everybody goes to the wrong house, to the neighbor's house. Everybody. It doesn't matter if we have packages being delivered or groceries being delivered, people coming to work at our house. <laughs> It doesn't matter they always go to our neighbor's house and we don't know what else to do to make our driveway more um, noticeable we have lights at the end of it we even put another like um, thing that says our address our house number so that you can see it because our mailboxes are across the street but for some reason everybody goes there we even tell everybody we're the house with the lighthouse in front of it everybody goes to the wrong house everybody I think they think it's our driveway and the other thing that we get a lot of questions of is because our barn is back behind the trees is a lot of people say are you the first house or is there are the second house back there those are what we get a lot of first house or second house and it's always there's only one house it's just us <laughs> or the first house oh well Poor guys. You guys are so noisy. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? yet they're working on it they had to babysit and get everything ready and this is life with my husband so everybody's putting stuff away well I'm confused because I haven't found the lost boys around here anywhere nobody can seem to find them but when I was putting the groceries away I so found Peter Pan y'all this is what I live with <laughs> every day Just saying. he is the king of bad dad jokes 
And that is how I So why do you do that stuff off camera? You never do it. I just have the camera out to show the real you. And he started laughing. He said, get the camera. Well, I'd go put it in the driveway and then we could have Peter Parker. <laughs> oh, Lord. A little bit of Spider-Man coming? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, put the food away. <laughs> Okay, so I just put some chicken in the air fryer and those chicken strips that we just got at the grocery today, which if you saw my haul, then you saw the chicken strips we got. I threw those in and the kids ate some of these muffins. I don't think they had cinnamon rolls. <laughs> it's just that kind of a day today. Tomorrow though is Valentine's Day and the kids have all kinds of activities that they plan. The girls shop like crazy to put together some kind of big Valentine party to do with the boys. They love doing that. And um, I've got so much cleaning to do today. So while we're cleaning, I'm going to show um, the bathroom because Charles got that finished. So I want to share that with you guys. And he's going to take you down and show you what we had done in the basement. They finished that up yesterday and talk to you. We also had a plumber out and he can tell you what's going on with all of that. So here is Charles after I show you this bathroom. Okay, you guys. This is the bathroom. It's all done. He added the shelving. I think it looks wonderful. I'm gonna take a minute to show you what we've had done in the basement. I will forewarn you, it is not pretty, but it is as stable as you're probably going to get, and I'll worry about pretty later. Uh, so as you recall, we had a wall that was buckling, and I'll be honest with you, buckled a little bit more than I thought it did, um, but we're not going to have to worry about that now. So behind me, you can see our steel beams. So I will flip this around a little bit and show you. That's as zoomed out as I can get. Basically what they have done is they uh, hammered and jackhammered into the concrete and they have installed five four inch steel pillars on the exterior wall and those are braced up at the floor joist level and that will make everything to keep the wall from bowing inward and let me find, let me just show you you can see the amount of concrete in at the bottom and you can see the amount of concrete at the top. That gives you an idea. It buckled probably, I've got about two inches and oh yeah, just probably should show you here in the middle. You can see there is no bowing at all. That is, or no gap at all. That is absolutely full right in there. So then the other thing they needed to do The other thing they needed to do is they needed to fill the crack in the wall where it had buckled. And so what they did, it's a lot worse now than, or it looks a lot like it was a lot worse than what it really was. Uh, basically they had to open that up. They put some wire reinforcement in it and then went through and re tuck pointed that. Now, again, I'm not as worried that there's like, you know, masonry all over the wall or, you know, anything like that. Um, simply because of the fact I'm going to be covering this wall eventually anyway. So I will probably have to float the floor a little bit where the concrete down there where the concrete kind of sticks away from the wall a little bit. Uh, that's not going to be perfectly level, but I got some ideas for later on that that can do. The other thing I will show you is back in the back here in the laundry area, they needed to put together a French drain in the floor. And so we have basically down here a French drain in the floor, which is designed to allow the water that's been building up in this exterior wall to drain out into the floor and away to the sump pump. So hopefully that will keep us from having additional water problems on this wall. They did say to monitor it though. And then we had the plumber in yesterday. Um, opened up our, this is our tankless hot water heater. 
And just for the record, I'm not a fan of the tankless hot water heater. I think this is costing us more than it saves us because we use so much more hot water than a normal household. We don't really get the benefit of not having, or having a, an electric savings because the water in the tank is just sitting there getting cold and it costs money to keep it hot. We just, we use too much hot water for that. But there are three breakers inside this or relays inside this and one of the one of the three is completely burned out they have put one on order and we'll be back in a few days to install that so we'll see if that helps with our hot water flow problem um, we literally got to a point where are at a point really where if you have one uh, faucet going the other faucet doesn't get any hot water so we'll go from there see what happens yeah, and We're just we finishing up some lunch. We had some chicken fingers. Yes. Does Toro Loco have a mommy and a daddy? No. No? Why not? Because he's a monster truck? Yeah. Hey, where does milk come from? It comes from cups. From cups? I mean from some, from some milk. I mean some... It pours into cups. It pours into the cups? I don't know where milk comes from. <laughs> you don't. Well, where do carrots come from? They go over oh, it. <laughs> carrots Hi. come from the ground. Remember when we were growing carrots at our old house? Yeah. Yeah. Where do cucumbers come from? They come from ground. Mm-hmm. You love when we plant cucumbers, don't you? Where do chickens come from? No, they come from chicken coops. <laughs> they come from the chicken coops. <laughs> of course they do. Yeah, why didn't you our garden? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you so silly. Get some yet, but we do got some. Well, where do puppies come from? They come from guys. <laughs> they don't come from guys. From the sky? <laughs> yeah, they don't. Oh, they uh, don't. Well, you know, they say it rains cats and dogs. So I guess that's possible. <laughs> yeah, they come. Uh, that's heavy. Yeah. Where does bubbly water come from? They come from the bath. From the bath? And no, they come. Um, cookie monster. <laughs> comes from Cookie Monster. Yeah, I'm a good friend. You're oh, so silly. Yeah. Hey, where does smell come from? It comes from the sky. From the sky, that's yeah. right. Where, where does the snow go when it melts? On the floor. On the floor? Yeah. It does in our house when it comes in our house, doesn't it? It melts into the floor. Yeah, when it go, when it comes from the trees, when it comes from the trees, it will melt on us. Yes, it does melt on us from the trees. You're right. I have a question for you. No, no. Where does Papa come from? No. No, that's not a grip. Tell him, Papa comes from heaven. No, no, no. No, no, no. Where does Paul come from? He comes from the ground and sky. From the ground and the sky. That's okay. right. He's a little good, a little bad. <laughs> who do you? Who do you like more? It will melt on us. Hey, who do you like more, G or Papa? That's not even fair. G. Oh, really? Oh, you take that. Papa has M&M's. <laughs> so who do you like better? G. G. G still wins, man. G has sparkly water. He loves my sparkly water. Yeah, and I don't like M&M's. <laughs> you do too. You love his M&M's. <laughs> I am surprised though because he is his Paul's shadow. And that's who he follows all day long. <laughs> now, if you ask Luke who he likes better, it's always daddy. Who do you like more? Always. Never is it mommy. mommy. 
Jan mommy. Jan mommy's a tie. Good boy. Okay. And not pa. Not pa. <laughs> are you just pulling Paul's legs, or are you being serious? I'm being serious. <laughs> you don't win, man. Okay, we're done cleaning this first floor at least, and the girls are giving the dog a bath real quick because the dog has been trying to get in the bathtub with Theo like every day. <laughs> so <laughs> she loves to get a bath. She used to absolutely hate it. And we give her one at least once a week and she used to absolutely hate it. And now she can't get enough. She loves to get a bath. So they're giving her a bath. I'm gonna start dinner. We are just gonna do meatball subs today. Keep it super simple and easy. And Charles is in his office doing some editing. Somebody had asked, why I don't show Charles at work anymore? <laughs> well, honestly, I don't because there's nothing to show. He sits in his office. He's on conference call after conference call after conference call. <laughs> so many conference calls. And if he's not doing that, he's on the phone talking to people one off or, you know, he's doing his computer work. So I don't really have anything to show you. Before I used to go down and talk to him and stuff, I really don't do that anymore. I think it's just because he's been home for a year now, <laughs> working from home straight for a year now, and it, I just don't need to go in and bug him. He comes down, he'll give me a kiss in between meetings and, you know, grab a drink or something, and that's just it. I don't, I don't have to, you know, go find him like I used to. And we did get the good news that they are going to continue working him from home through um, September as of right now, so it'll be a year and a half that he will have been home. Um, but we don't know. We think it's going to end up being like a permanent thing. We hope it is. We love him being home. So that's where we are right now. So you guys definitely don't see him dressed up in his <laughs> dress shirts and all of that anymore heading out the door. He's in just normal people clothes. <laughs> Let's see how to make I'm going to make these meatball subs real quick. Your life's been put on hold for far too long When the sorrow and despair is growing strong There is always something good to be obtained From breaking loose and leave the things that kept you chained
making, I want to share something with you guys I got on Amazon. It's called Silk Touch Ups. And they're these little razors. And this is going to sound crazy. But those of you that are more my age will understand or older that you get peach fuzz. Even kids have it. Peach fuzz on your face. And it makes your makeup not go on as smooth. I know this sounds crazy <laughs> to some of you. But all you do is you take this little razor and it's just a little tiny sharp razor and just kind of pull your face and you go like this. That's it. I'm right now I have makeup on. But you have no no shaving cream, no anything, and you just go like that all over your face. Or you can use it on your eyebrows and just, you know, just like that. So easy. And oh, my skin feels so smooth and the makeup went on so much easier. So much easier. Of course, my kids are all teasing me saying, you're gonna be like the bearded lady now because it's gonna grow back. But apparently a lot of people do this and I did not know about it until recently and I saw some YouTuber doing it and so I, I checked it out. I don't know even why I was watching somebody do their makeup, I don't even know why. And maybe I liked her eyes and lashes or I don't know, something. But anyway, and I saw her do this and then I thought, how cool, I wanna try it myself. And let me tell you, I didn't even realize I had that much peach fuzz on my face. <laughs> but it feels so smooth now and it just was, it's wonderful. And you know, women, we can get a little bit of hair right here. And it also says you can use it for your eyebrows for shaping them up. Now, I don't do that, but like Kate will get hair like right here. So she, she said, Mom, I've been using them for years. I bought them on Amazon. And she said, I, I use them for right here where I get the, you know, hair um, between her eyebrows. So I just wanted to jump on and share that with you guys. Charles and I are discussing paint colors because he is going to work on the... Um, upstairs he's gonna do the hallway well that hallway upstairs leads to downstairs so then it becomes a okay well then what do we want to paint the living room because it's gonna be looking into the hall and so everything kind of meshes together and looks good so we came up with a sage a light sage for the living room and this silvery blue um, it'll go with the wallpaper because I love that wallpaper and it looked really pretty next to the brick wall and it goes with everything else so can't wait to share all that with you guys. That is coming up. Charles is still editing. <laughs> he is working on a Blue Jay Acres. I should go up sometime tonight, I would assume. So you guys go check out Blue Jay Acres if you haven't already. He shares more of the man side of things and the actual doing things. <laughs> and he's done a lot. So he's sharing all that with you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in just a few when this dinner is well the meatballs are done and then we'll turn them into subs we were young and we were free and running never bothered about what could be coming every day we danced and life was smiling we were young and drunk in love Years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay every night But you show me life is full of faces Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places But we were young and unaware Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you
this with some chips and just hang out so that's gonna wrap up today's video I hope all of you have a wonderful Valentine's Day um, cuz I'm gonna put this up hopefully on Valentine's Day and I will try to record our Valentine's Day to share with you guys hopefully on Monday so we will see all of you guys very soon have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and thank you again so much for watching bye everybody <laughs>